What's up folks, Trip Smith here. We are headed out for kind of a three day, huh, let's call it a tribute adventure. There's someone out there who kind of is to blame for a lot of the reasons why I'm doing this, why I'm chasing this aquatic dream. So we're just a little bit west of Fort Walton, Florida, and I've come to my favorite little spot. Or maybe not my favorite, but it's definitely a top spot of mine. You can get right in between these things. But actually, I think I may want to get, I may want to get on the back side right over there. It's a little shallow, but I think we can sneak up in there. Right in this little spot. Pretty shallow. That's one of the advantages of the sea dory. She can run pretty shallow. It's tight in here, but we're okay. The tide is dropping. We should be able to sneak out and maybe ride around there, a little bit of deep water later on. But next up on my to-do list is to cook a lunch. I got a special lunch in store that I'm looking forward to. Probably my favorite food ever. And before we do that, we got to get us in a good old trip dip. <laughs> <laughs> Feels great. Uh, this is like the last couple weeks of summer. It's still a little warm, although it's not too bad. Before we start cooking up our feast on the boat, I want to take a stroll right here, see if we can spot any blue crabs. That might be our dinner. I feel like things like this are things that Jimmy Buffett would enjoy. Now, I've read a lot of his books, and they talk about you know exploring the Caribbean, exploring the Gulf Coast as well a little bit. This is where he was from. He's from this area. I don't want to be out here too long because I'm not wearing sunblock at the moment. But I do have some new sunblock I'm looking forward to trying. It's pretty unique, pretty new. And you guys know, whoop, little fish, I love blue lizard sunblock. I've been using that for such a long time, and it works so well when you're in the water and active and things like that. The water is so nice. Mm. Alright, let's go get started on lunch. I'm hungry. Any guesses as to what we might be cooking up for lunch? I mean, what do you think Jimmy Buffett might cook up? Gumbo? He might cook some gumbo. We're not going to have gumbo. How about a cheeseburger in paradise? Let's get one. Two, as a matter of fact. That's a hunk of meat right there. <laughs> That's going to be over half a pound. Who doesn't love just hanging out, listening to Jimmy Buffett on a boat, maybe cooking some cheeseburgers in paradise? You know, there's only one thing I can think of that would make for a great dessert. Well, I guess key lime pie, but something other than that. We may have to throw together here in a minute, or when we're done eating. Literally just had some food on a jet ski come screaming right through here. <laughs> it's a little closer. You usually give jet skiers some, some slack kind of, but it's not smart. Whatever. Man, look at that. Ooh. Oh, man, it crashed. Oh. Look at this. Look at that. Is that not cheeseburger paradise, you guys?
All the flavors coming together. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, change the latitude. That'll work. We forgot cheese. All right, we're gonna get the next one right. <laughs> oh, Tabasco. Mm, let's do it. Thank you, Jimmy. And it's crazy that we Jim Buffett is gone. a lot to him, really and truly. I know a lot of people love music, but I don't I don't think most people, I don't know how to say this, but I think I love music more than most people. I know the music that I love better than most people. And when I hear his music, it really does put me in a special place. I understand those feelings and I've seen some of the same things and experienced some of the same experiences that he sings about and either it takes me back there or it makes me long to have that experience that he's singing about if I never have. I mean, he just said, my occupation is just not around. That's kind of me. My occupation is just not around. I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> That's the best cheeseburger I've ever eaten. Clock ticks and the cattle graze. Man. Woo! All right, it's settled. I took it a little swim, a little stroll. Took some photos and things like that, but now it's time for dessert. So, let's dig in here. Doop. Can anyone guess what we're having? <laughs> I bet you can. We need some water. Straight out of the fridge here. I mean, really, did you think it was going to be anything different than a margarita? Got her shaker cup, some ice in it, add a little cold water. I don't know how much, really. Then we're going to add a, a citrus salt element. First time I had one of these, it reminded me straight up of a margarita. I thought, man, one day it'll be good to mix one of those and make a margarita. I've already had one today. Actually, I think I had the ras no grapefruit this morning. Like I do every morning, but actually I do a double dose. And here, this is what I take when I travel. I've got my creatine dosage, 1,000 milligrams of salt. Well, it's the same thing is in here. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 600 milligrams of magnesium. So the creatine, my own element mix, but then also an element for the wonderful flavor. That's what I drink every morning. Yeah, a lot of salt maybe, but there's not a lot of sodium in the food that I eat. So that's why I do that. All right, and here we've got some, I don't know, some tequila and then some orange triple sec. That's what they say you need to use to make a good margarita. I'm not much of a margarita man myself, but I mean, I don't drink much anyway, but I don't know how much we need. We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Probably add some more water. <laughs> that just seems like a lot. <laughs> One little margarita in Jimmy's honor. Never hurt anybody, right? But hey, I do wanna take a moment and thank Element for sponsoring yet another video. And like I said, I do drink one of these every single day because I know the benefits that it provides me when I work out and things like that. That's why I kind of take a little bit of extra of all this because I do sweat more than your regular person because I'm so active. But even if you're not a very active person, being hydrated and keeping your electrolytes high is super important on so many things when it comes to your body. You know, between brain fog and just how much energy you have during the day, it is so critically important. And water alone will not hydrate you. It will actually dehydrate you if you drink too much water. It will actually flush your electrolytes out. So there's a balance somewhere in there. And there's a lot of guides online that will kind of give you a gauge of how much sodium you need to consume every day. And right here I'm going to toss in a quick graphic so you can see kind of what the daily sodium suggestions are, all right? And I'm so happy to know that so many of you are drinking Element, are enjoying it, and are feeling a difference in your daily life. That's so incredible. We got a little cloud coming through. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to give Element a try. And right now they're offering a special to my subscribers. If you go through my link, drinklmnt.com slash tripsmith, you get a free sample eight pack with every order. You get to try all the different flavors and they have a lot of good ones. I have a few other flavors that I'll be drinking for tomorrow and stuff, but I think citrus salt probably is my favorite. All right, 
Let's try the margarita. I mean, I'm kind of excited. You know, hopefully they're not like frowning upon me for doing this. <laughs> I hope it's okay, Element. Whoa. Huh. Wow, that's good. <laughs> Man, Margaritaville. Holy smokes, that is fan freaking tastic. Thank you, Element. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here's to you, Jimmy. Love me some Margaritaville. I guess. I don't know. It's kind of one of those overplayed songs, but you got to love it. Soon it will render that frozen concoction that helps me hang on. <sighs> oh, yeah. And really quick, I want to tell y'all something like Margaritaville. Yeah, sure, there's a restaurant called Margaritaville. But Margaritaville, it's not a place. It's a state of mind. It's a feeling. And what exactly is that feeling and state of mind? I don't know. I don't think there is one. I think it's different for everybody. But I mean, this, this is my Margaritaville. Let's see what we got going on out here. So we've actually, we got the tide dropping, and we're in a pretty shallow little spot. And I'm not going to spend the night here because pretty soon the bugs are going to be coming out and they will eat you alive. So I think we're going to head out. Uh, I'm not sure which direction. Probably over that way and anchor out away from all the grass. We gotta do that kind of soon because low tide is right at dusk. And at low tide, it'd be challenging for us to get out of here. I think we can still do it, but we're still Margaritaville in it. <laughs> yes! Man, this is fun. <laughs> so we still got a little over three hours until sunset. We got some weather moving along the north of us. I think it's going to miss us. But soon I'm going to weigh my anchors. I'm going to move out there. But first, I want to get in the water one more time where it's nice and pretty. Just to get clean, you know? Fresh. Woo! I'm really just into this, so, you know. <laughs> oh, living that Jimmy Buffett life. And I'm still working on that margarita. Hadn't finished it yet. <laughs> you don't love this. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> And that's okay. There's some things wrong with some people. You know, I guess. Some people just can't help it. <laughs> but a lot of people can't help it. <laughs> they just either don't know or they don't care. <laughs> you guys hear that thunder? It's rolling. Just a little bit though, but it's far off. And it's not coming our way. We've got pretty good weather in the forecast, luckily. Trimmer down. Oh, I forgot to turn my battery off. Yeah, every time I crank the motor, I have to turn off my connection between my power bank and the electrical system on the boat, which is connected to the alternator on the engine. When those two go together, it's not good. <laughs> All right, so we get this anchor. <laughs> Had to trim it up the grunt. We'll keep it right here ready to deploy again. Hey, we're getting a little bit of rain. All right, let's cruise out of here so we can stay in that deeper channel. Oh, man. The temperature sure is dropping. It is nice right now. Hard to see the channel now, but I'm pretty sure we're staying in it. Ooh. Hopefully we're still going in the right direction. Ugh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rain's coming. Basically, now I'm just heading out into the center of this to get as far away from any grass as I can, because that's where the bugs are. So according to this and that, I think I just want to be in the center of this little opening here. Rope's tangled or something back in the cockpit. 
on the cooler. <laughs> It's supposed to just feed out of that bag nice and easy, and it generally does. But I'm gonna forget to set it on the floor. We're in relatively shallow water, so we don't need much road out. And there's like a eh, five to one ratio that you need. So if you are in six foot of water, or if your bow, wherever you're anchor road goes off your boat is you know six feet above the bottom and you need about 35 feet no 30 feet six times five is 30 oh and we're in two and a half feet of water <laughs> it's just a little murky I guess it's probably actually about almost three feet here and I'm happy with that we'll shut her down kill the batteries for the night and turn our power bank back on let our solar panels get the last little bit of juice. Let's make sure it's still pumping. Man, we're not getting much right now. This overcast, six watts of input, five watts of input. It's not much at all. That's okay, you saw we were at what? Probably like 99, 98% full, so we got plenty. I like it, fairly protected-ish, but the wind's not supposed to be too bad tonight, so it should be nice and calm. Now let's get one last thing to eat. It's about uh, almost 4.30. I just want to finish eating so I can kind of start my fast. And plus, I usually sleep better when I stop eating earlier. And I found a really good deal the other day at Walmart of all places. You don't really find a lot of good deals there, but they had something on clearance. So I bought like 10 cans of these herring fillets for 49 cents a piece. And they're good till 2025. Ha! They are in hot tomato sauce, which is, I mean, delicious to me, but... Uh, the ingredients, rapeseed oil. <laughs> what the heck is rapeseed oil? Is that a typo they meant grapeseed? You guys, I swear to you it says rapeseed oil. But then sugar and cornstarch. I really just wish it didn't have the, the rapeseed oil. <laughs> oh, don't squeeze it when you're pulling it out, Trip. Let me go drain this. I spilled some on the table. Nothing makes me more upset than getting rapeseed oil on my, on my table. <laughs> but these pretty good looking herring fillets. I already had one can. When I got home, I was like, man, I gotta try these. 49 cents a can? Mmm. Pretty darn good. You gotta be surprised if too many buffalo ate canned fish much. <laughs> Probably didn't eat rapeseed oil either. <laughs> I figure I might as well finish my margarita. Well, I have been adding ice a few times. I really just want to finish this. I could drink some water. <laughs> so someone just sent me a message on Instagram. They were watching my story. And they said, Trip, you got to try Element as a slushy, like blend it up with ice. It turns into like a slushy. And coincidentally, yesterday my wife was like, hey, you should take a blender and a drill and attach it to it and bring that on the boat and make the margarita. So that makes me think, okay, next time, why don't we just bring the blender, some ice, and an element, and just make some slushies. That sounds like a good idea to me. Well, time has been passing on, and the sun is going down. And it looks like it's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous sunset. Whew, man, the colors are good. A little breezier than I thought, but I mean, it's not a big deal sit on the cabin top and enjoy it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Actually, it looks like we might lose it behind the clouds. No. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's it. We just got here. <laughs> that's all right. There's always another sunset and there's a sunrise. The plan is to get up early in the morning because high tide is like right at sunrise. So I'd like to be up and maybe, maybe underway before sunrise to try and get over towards the pass and get in the water, maybe do some snorkeling at high tide. So as the sun's going down, this one's kind of special. I've been kind of sitting with my guitar for a few minutes. And I figured we'd play us a Jimmy Buffett song. I'm 
Brother Mother Ocean I have heard you call I wanted to sail upon your waters As I was three feet tall You seen it all You seen it all I watched the man who rode you Switch from sail to steam And in your belly you hold the treasures Few have ever seen Most of them dreams Most of them dreams Now yes I am a pirate Two hundred years too late the cannons don't thunder, there's nothing to plunder I'm an over 40 victim of fate Arriving too late Arriving too late Now I've done a bit of smuggling I've run my share of grass I've made enough money to buy my Emmy But I piss it away on gas Never meant to last Never meant to last But I have been drunk now for over two weeks I passed out and I rallied and I sprung a few leaks But I got to stop wishing, I gotta go fishing I'm down to rock bottom again With just a few friends With just a few friends now I go for younger women I've lived with several a while Though I ran them away They come back one day They still can manage a smile It just takes a while It just takes a while And Mother, Mother Rosha After all my years I've found My occupational hazard being My occupation just not around Feel like I've drowned, but I won't wear a frown. I feel like I've drowned, but I won't wear a frown. So as we get ready for the day and what it might hold, I think I'm gonna kind of shade my face a little bit, and I'll show you guys how I do that on the boat. I use actually hair conditioner instead of like shaving cream. Then the only mirror that I have on board is this little makeup one that I stole from my wife, but I'm able to get right up in here between this screen. It'll lock it right in place there. And it's right above the sink. And I've got my foot pedal down at the bottom. Every time I press that, we get water. All right, now it's time to mix up our daily dose. <laughs> margarita! It smells like margarita. Woo! You need to rinse this out first. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a stink, it just smells like a margarita. A little shake and shake. That'll do. Hey, we're gonna get a workout in at some point today. So these are cool. Because they just kind of twist apart. And they open up. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do that the wrong way? Hit it the wrong way. I knew I was doing that. Anyways, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, they twist apart, open up, there's these little capsules. Then we'll add an element for flavor. Now this is pretty, uh, I'd, I'd call it, no, I wouldn't call it potent, but it's definitely flavorful when I fill my shaker bottle up. So what I generally do, drink a little bit out of it, then I'll fill it up again. And I like the salt flavor. I think it makes me not like water as much because I just drink this and it just has that little something in it that's so good. Just the salt. All right, what's next, Drip? I think it's time to go. I think we'll work out before we eat breakfast, I think. I think yeah. Ooh, sunblock. That's it. That's next. Uh-oh. <laughs> See that little yellow kind of greenish ring? I just got a water bottle out of my fridge and it smelled like pickles in there. I think that's pickle juice. We may have to clean the fridge out real quick. Freaking pickle juice in the fridge. Yeah, got a little pickle juice spillage. Yeah, she's tainted. No, that's jalapenos. Oh, that's because they're laying over on their side. Why are you guys leaking? We may 
have them with our breakfast or something. That'd be good to add to my eggs. A lot of food in here. Those burgers yesterday, you guys, I'm telling you, they were off the chain. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with that. I know what we need. Uh oh, I'm responding to comments on the first boat test video, so that's that's fun and exciting. Cause I never know what that's gonna be like. Jimmy Buffett Radio. Let's try that. Of course, it started us with Margarita Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sunblock, that's where we were. Usually I use my blue lizard. I've been using this stuff for years. Well, we've got something new and improved, hopefully. Never, I haven't used it much, to be honest with you. Right here in my, it's my new traveling bag. I got a lot of good stuff in there. Check this out, it's called ginger armor. I mean, you don't have to be a ginger to use it, but it works good if you're a ginger, All right? Now I will tell you guys that they sent this to me for free. They're not paying me though. It's a mineral SPF 50, and that's basically what this is, my blue lizard. And it's a daily moisturizer, they're calling it. it smells like jalapenos though. <laughs> 750 sprays per bottle, and two to three sp sprays covers the face and ears. Pretty liquidy. You know, it's like, I mean, it's really. Ah. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Dude, that's so much better. It's not like, I don't know, does it look white on me? A little bit of my chin. That's because I'm pretty sweaty out here. <laughs> the blue lizard, a lot of times, I would just be like purple or pink afterwards. It would be ridiculous. And this kind of the same, but I don't think it's as bad. But it feels, I mean, feels good. And it's so small for so much. Like, I think there's a lot more in here than in here, a lot more coverage. So, and it's not too expensive. That's pretty awesome. To shake before spray. Oh, freaking flies. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, and it, yeah, it's waterproof, paraben free, sulfate free, fragrance free, dye free, petrolatum free, mineral oil free, linoleum, but <laughs> lanolin free, non nano stickiness free, white residue free, and all natural. How does it look? I can't see. The sun is so bright behind you guys. I think it looks great. Yeah, I like it. I'm a fan. It seems like it's pretty late, but it's really only 8 30, which is later than I originally thought it was gonna be when we were heading out, but that's okay. We're going, promise. Ah, join me. So the panel's charging the boat up. We were at about 72% on our battery bank this morning, so that's how much it used during the night. So today, we'll see how long it takes it to charge up to 100%. I'm thinking one o'clock will be good. Nothing to see. We're just gonna leave the anchor out because we're gonna deploy it soon. Battery's on. WWJD. What would Jimmy do? He probably wouldn't be working out, I don't think. I don't, granted I can't speak for his personal habits. Which if I was Jimmy, <laughs> I may not care either. <laughs> I don't know, surely I would still be conscious of my health. Because the better I take care of myself, the better life I can live, more adventurous life. You know? So take care of yourselves, folks. Coming up through our little paradise cut here. I'm ready to get rid of these flies, you guys. They have been, like I'm gonna put a fly swatter on this boat. I don't know if you guys see me fight with flies before, but uh, what we got over here, mullet? Something at the tops over there. Yeah, a bunch of mullet. Woo, big old school. That's our depth, two feet. We're good. Hey man, we're drafting eight inches with the hull. What, another eh, 12 or 14, probably with the motor. What's that, 32 inches? not too bad. No, that ain't 32 inches. Golly, my math has been terrible. 8 plus 14, 22. What a bunch of boring talking I am doing. Let's not talk, Trip. Let's do. Let's do. Let's go, baby. Can we open it up here? I think it's too shallow. <laughs> ah, I would do both at the same time, but I can't at this angle. I run them about right there. When I open her up, oh, we ready. Let's do it. Skitter back, baby. Yep. <laughs> All right, 
we'll get us a nice easy cruise. Trim her back up. It's about right. Let's crank it though. issues with all these songs well you know what i decided before this trip started i'm just gonna not monetize this video which means you guys aren't seeing ads and things like that on it screw it this is for jimmy buffett baby it ain't all about the dollar we're headed towards the destined pass you guys decent and I have been here when it's been like crystal clear right here and you just see straight to the bottom and you could see things on the bottom and I was just diving down and grabbing stuff there's been a little rain down here and things like that some weather stirring up the Gulf so it's not as clear as it can be but this is about average probably maybe I don't know but there is a little beach on the other side of the bridge closer to the actual Gulf that I like to go and anchor up at if it's calm enough Usually it's pretty secluded at this time of day. Find us a little Margaritaville feeling out there. I actually change of plans. Let's sneak out to the Gulf and see what this looks like. It might be calm enough to anchor out there. That would be nice. too bad out there but it's it's always the worst right here at the entrance but you circle around <laughs> and she calms down a bit it's not too bad out here but it's a little rolly the water clarity is not that much better so I think we'll circle back around and go back in it's definitely worth scouting and trying though for sure All right, so we got an outgoing tide, so that's gonna keep us parallel to the beach. And it looks like, let's see how much it's moving. Just trying to determine my anchoring strategy. And the tide's gonna keep moving for another few hours. Definitely the whole time we're gonna be here, so it will keep us swinging in the same direction. So we're good there. We'll just head up a little more and just toss the anchor out, I don't know, 50 feet or so. Yeah, from the beach, that'll work. Look at that huge jellyfish. That thing is huge right there. <clears throat> All right, now we'll let her tighten up on the anchor. Digging and set. Another big jelly. Another jelly. Ooh, great. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see how much juice we got. We're at 73, so it hasn't really charged much. What was it at this morning? I think I said 73. I was probably lying. I don't know. <laughs> Ignorance, okay? 
<laughs> we'll see when it gets to full. 9.30. I mean, the sun's still been low, so we haven't been getting a super amount of solar energy coming in yet. I don't know how much you need, really. Man, I like it. It rubs in really good. Might be my new go-to. I mean, it goes on so easy, like it's on. It's rubbed in. That's pretty much it. Sweet. All right, I was just up on the bow, uh, shooting a little bit for my Instagram story. And I spotted maybe a couple blue crabs out there. I figured before we do our workout, that'll be a good warm-up, right? Let's go catch the blue crab. There he goes. How are we gonna film this? Best we can, that's how. Oh, oh man, and the Merle Hager comes on just as we get in the water. All right, we on the hunt. Okay, I think we got one right up there. Another man there. Oh man, they're running already. We got to run them up on the beach. Let's do that. Okay, he's right there. Watch close. He's going to the beach. He's going. Where is he going now? Oh, 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 oh. He's sidetracking. Gotta switch hands. Come here, buddy. You want me to go? Oh, he's Come here, you little joker. You ain't gonna do that to me. Making a fool out of me. Making it. Alright, hold on. Stop. Stop with the. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, this is the wrong kind of net. Alright, he's going deep. He's trying to get us. Oh, we running you to the beach, playing. He knows. He is so Got him. Oh, there's a big one too. <laughs> he knew. He was trying to get to deep water. He said, he ain't no fool. Man, that's the eater too. Whew, good little warm up there. Look at that big jelly. Now let's get him out of the net without getting pinched. Whoa, he's spicy. All right, but it's in your best interest to let go. Come on, man, do it for the gram. There he goes. All right, it's enough work. I mean, it's enough play. Time to go to work. Let's do it. We got that sodium in us. Give us an extra boost. You know, it increases our blood volume, all that good stuff. All these folks are here on vacation be like, why is that idiot out there working out? Another blue crab. <laughs> Come up, Brady. I think we're going to start with some sort of uh, moderate sprints, and then we'll go to some high rep body weight movement. Oh yeah, before I start, another new gadget I got is a watch. It's like the Tick Watch Pro 5. You know, I had that Huawei watch for a while that I really enjoyed, but it was just, you know, Chinese and didn't support apps and things like that. But this is supposed to be a lot better. I've only had it for about two or three weeks, and I haven't really done the apps on it yet. I haven't really worked out with it much either, just because I'm still learning how to set it up, and I'm kind of careless not forget about it to the last second. But I've got it now for this little outdoor run we're about to do. Let's see how she goes. Bad do you want? That's the question. <laughs> you want to go get it? Right, I've had enough sprints, about 16 minutes worth. I just sprint hard and then wait till my heart rate got down to like 120. I felt like I was recovered. I had to go again. But now, do some dive bump push ups. I'll get us in some lunges until it hurts. That's kind of how I'm judging how much I'm doing. 
just by how it feels. I want it to feel good. Eat them up. I want to ask, what do y'all think about having the music in the background? Is it too much? Too loud? Too little? Is it fun? I mean, I don't know. Because <laughs> I like it. Because normally I have to like shut off the music and then film. Turn the music back on. Shut the music off, film. You back and forth. Is it worth it? What do you think? Let me know. God dang flies, man. And they're fat. I can't get them. Hmm. Sardines and eggs. Big surprise. Times are hot. All right, I'm tired of these flies. I'm about to pull the anchor up, and we're about to skin it back and try to just get them out. There, we're just we're just getting so many in here, and we got to open the boat up, get some wind flowing, and maybe they'll get out of here. There's no dinero. Maybe we made a difference in his freaking infest state. Now you see him. I still see those suckers. So I'm not exactly sure where my buddy's boat is that he's captain of, but it's somewhere towards the back. I think if we just find the baddest yacht in Destin, I think that's the one. So let's see. <laughs> now it's not the Buccaneer, the pirate ship, but he did used to be the captain of that. <laughs> But yeah, let's go back in there and see. So here's where they're doing a lot of new construction. It used to just all be sand beach, just like that. People would pull their boats up over there, but not anymore. That kind of sucks. That was a pretty good place to hang out, popular spot. All right, so we got some pretty nice yachts over here at Galati. But we're looking for something a little better. Okay, I see something way out there come on focus whoop what's that right in the center that looks like something nice yeah i'm pretty sure that's the one yep that's the one there's joe <laughs> let's go say hello so i'm sitting here chatting with joe and he's gonna join me for lunch he's gonna climb on board take on a passenger We just went and ate at Beauchamp's and now we're just cruising back and he sees this shoe floating and he's like, hey, that looks like my, my Stu's shoe. So it's stewardess's shoe. He's like, that, that's her hey dude. So we're going to stop and pick it up. Might be. Uh, that one's a little old. Hold on. I can't turn with the camera in my hand. All right. You got it. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> You don't think it's hers? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. Now that I see it, smell it. <laughs> well, you can tell her that, that we tried to find her shoe. Worth a shot. It was worth a shot. By the way, this is Joe. You guys remember him from a video. We delivered that fair line, which is actually sitting right back there. Yeah. We had a good, a good lunch, a good chat. Good gumbo. Good gumbo. I thought you wanted your shoe. Yeah, I will, for sure. All right, take care, man. Well, that's Joe, the captain of that junker we were looking for. That's a Pershing 9X. Really big, really nice yacht. Runs really fast. We may be hopping on there in about a 
month and a half to help him take it for a yard period. That should be exciting. What are we gonna do next? My plan was originally to walk across the street to Boat, B-O-T-E, but Joe put a kink in that. <sighs> but it, it was worth it, Joe, it was worth it. I'm gonna take this shirt off, this gosh, I'm gonna start to sweat. What time have we got? 1.14, it's still early. I don't wanna go out to Crab Island, to be honest with you. The next thing I think we'll do, we'll pull up over here on Noriego Point, sit up on the beach here, and just watch the boats come in in the evening. Then we may sneak in there a little later on and just jam to some little live music. There's someone who I enjoy listening to. He's gonna be playing tonight right there, fortunately. So, that sounds like a good plan to me. So I pull up here, toss my anchors out. I love being stern to the beach. It's always nice. Then I walk over and meet the first people who are beside me, and they're leaving right over there. Turns out, the guy owns some huge electrical company that supplies like all of the main top-end premium boats out there. How crazy. I always meet some cool people right here on Noriego Point. Love it. And I'm having a little pepper jack cheese as a snack. Mmm. See, I love meeting people. Surely this is something that Jimmy Buffett did, right? Chilling in a cool place like this? Come on. Watching the boats come in and out of the harbor? Fantastic. All right, it's 442. So much charge we got. We're at 96%, so not as good as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, the radio's been running a long time, but it, I thought it charged up a little bit quicker than that. We still got a few hours of sunlight left, though. So I'm just here hanging out. Hmm. So it's about to leave, and some people pulled up to say hello. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> y'all have a good evening! See y'all! <laughs> awesome, people just keep pulling up. I was about to leave. People were pulling up. But you know what? I may just take a salt water bath now. There's a guy. Oh, he starts playing guitar in like two minutes. Yep, I'm gonna take a bath right here. Ta-da. All clean. Whoa. Still got my old towel that I found at Steen Hatchy years ago on the stiff skiff. You know, I think the sunblock worked really well. I'm digging the ginger armor. Stood up and tried to focus I hoped I wouldn't have to move far Sure could use a bloody marriage So I stumbled over to Louie's backyard And now I must confess I could use some rest I can't run at this pace very long You see it's quite insane Think it hurts my brain But it cleans me out Then I can go on Something morning folks about we get us a quick little trip dip ah just like that Woo. oh ah, so I was happy I got to enjoy last night a little live music met some cool people I just ran I really met some interesting people and I like to think that's something that Jimmy Buffett would do as well but really and truly this whole trip has made me think about all the that Jimmy Buffett has, you know, or I don't know, the spell 
that he's put on my life to chase this lifestyle. And I'm chasing it as best I can. Uh, sure, there's, I could have done it better in some ways, worse in some ways, but here I am living it up to the best of my ability. And I appreciate you guys coming along. So on your next adventure on the water, maybe you're sitting by the pool, whatever, crank up some Jimmy Buffett and remember the lifestyle and the meaning and the magic. All right, folks, take care, get out there, God bless. I'll see y'all in the next one. And it's, man, you guys, there's about to be some really interesting stuff coming your way. I'm serious. It's gonna be fun. Let's get ready. Love you.